Hello, hello. I am really pleased to return with another update uh, in relation to the war in the Middle East as Israel works and fights and does everything to defend herself and her continued existence in the world of Jew hatred. Israel has been very busy. In the last two weeks, we all witnessed the Green Pager as it did what no one else had ever done the taking out of the top leaderships from the very top of Hezbollah leadership. Israel took them all out. Um, it's just been a very, very horrific time. Israeli citizens have woken up, and I woke up yesterday. I was it sometimes yes yeah to the news of iran attacking directly what does that tell us that its proxies have been brought to their knees if not completely decimated i'll show you this right now let's see something in relation to that so iran fires 181 missiles at israel PM says, the Prime Minister says, they made a big mistake and will pay for it. So if you watch this closely, look at that, look at this. Although the, 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 the propaganda on social media, what they're telling their people is that they're striking military bases in Israel. But thank God for the Iron Dome. Thank God for that man who invented the Iron Dome. And thank God for the David Sling. Barrage of missiles going into civilian areas. But thank God, thank God for those iron domes all over Israel. I had the map somewhere. I just can't find it now. I had a map showing how the the the, the red alert Israeli citizens have been instructed to go hide in, in the bomb shelters, in strong rooms, in on the ground these are used to protect real people in real time this is not a movie this is the real life of people in israel but what 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 are the purpose of the ter tunnels in in those terror enclaves for the terrorists themselves they shoot and fire at israel and they run to go hide underground then they come back out and hide behind their civilians because the, the, the amount of death boosts their support in the in the idiotic Western world. Well, Iran has done its worst, just like they did in April, firing hundreds of missiles into Israel. Other nations joined them then. But Israel has taken care of this by themselves yesterday. When terrorist Hamas invaded Israel on the 7th of October, 2023, Hezbollah followed on the 8th of October, 2023, and has continued to fire into Israel every single day for nearly a year. I didn't hear any of those kangaroo courts, any sane government or politician in the world any of those dead humanitarian nonsensical organizations. I never heard any of them caution Hezbollah, all those using them. Only when Israel responds, because everything Israel had done, I'm so glad Israel took out Hassan Nasrallah, the head of the snake Hezbollah. Only when Israel took him out, everybody was, came out, oh, Israel is striking. Indiscriminate bombing? Oh, seriously? You can tell all your lies and use all your buzzwords. Rubbish. Israel will continue to strike at the heart of terror. If it was going to do indiscriminate bombing, Lebanon would be like Gaza right now. But it singled out the terror enclaves, the structures, the infrastructure of terrorism and took them out. Israel is the one that is always told Take the wing, exercise restraint, be cautious, do not cross the red line. Oh, this is escalation. The war was escalated on October 8th after terrorist Hamas attacked. 
Hezbollah escalated it. Oh, the rat tag one, the Houthis from Yemen are involved as well. But Israel has put that one to rest very quickly. Iran, you deserve what's coming to you and for you. Wait, it's Israel's turn. Just pray. Pray. Because I don't think that thing you're referring to, that creature that you call your God, is dead himself because he's he's terrified by what Israel is going to do. It's Israel's turn, and I can't wait for what it will do to all the terrorists that are coming against Israel. This is uncalled for. Why can't there just be peace? Israel is the only nation seeking peace in that region. Everyone wants a piece of this little tiny portion where the Jews live. By the grace of God, I am a Zionist and I believe in the existence of Israel. And I believe in the safety of Jewish people everywhere in the world. Israel has a right to remain. When I look in the Bible, Israel comes to life. Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, Galilee, all these places in the Bible. Terrorism wants to take over. And someone will tell me this is about just a state. It's Israel's turn, Iran. Get ready for what's coming for you. You deserve every one of it, every bit and more. Thank God for the good people of Iran. 60% of them are against the terrorist regime. Unlike Gaza, where 99% of the population are in support of the terrorists. It's Israel's turn and it would go in style to put the terrorists to rest.